Good afternoon, my name is David Lane. I'm uh, out here with Johnny Weishop. Today's date is February 10th, 2017. And we were called out to 1414 South Southeast Boulevard um, earlier this week. And um, this has kind of been an ongoing problem. Um, what it is is, what we're looking at right here is a... Uh, private sewer that services four houses on this block. Um, we pulled a manhole on the corner of South East Boulevard and 14th. The lot there has a manhole by the tree and we pulled the man the manhole cover and uh, no water was entering it uh, upstream. Um, 14-14 was um, getting water coming back in the uh, basement of her house. Um, she was not home, not running any water, and um, sewage was coming back into her basement. We were called out. We ran the cable 125 feet, couldn't couldn't touch the blockage. Then we pushed the camera out as far as we could and, and hit what looked like a sludge blockage. We're called out today to jet. Um, we jetted from the manhole towards upstream and when the when the line let go quite a bit of water flowed um, downstream into the manhole probably a good two two and a half minutes of water flowing um, now we shoved the camera in from 1414 South Southeast Boulevard and downstairs clean out to camera the line um, the line looks you know, in, to be in pretty good shape um, before it ties into the private uh, sewer. After tying into the private sewer, um, this is a six inch clay tile pipe and you will see as I start to pull back um, the shape this line is in. What we're looking at right now, I'm unable to push my camera any further because of root intrusions. What we're looking at right now is a massive root intrusion. We're about 149 feet from the clean out in 1414 South Southeast Boulevard. Um, we're looking at a massive root intrusion and this is very much like all the other root intrusions we have seen um, thus far pushing this camera out. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm unable to push any further. We're going to start the video inspection from here back and I'm going to describe to you what I see. Excuse me, bear with me just one moment. All right, we're in a six inch clay clay tile pipe. The most problematic areas um, in clay tile are the joints. There's a joint right there. You can see a bit of root intrusions coming in. What these joints like to do over time, they like to, the ground settles and they either offset or separate. And uh, we'll be able to see some of that later on in the, all right, here we go. So we're going into a pretty massive root intrusion. Mind you, this is after running a jetter at 4,000 PSI twice with two different tips. We literally just punched a hole in these things. Um, it's going to take several more hours of jetting to uh, to clean this. Um, upon further look we saw chunks of pipe in the line and we um, had to call off the jetting because we do not want to collapse a line. This is a very large root intrusion. Again it's a uh, right at the joint. You can see at the bottom left hand um, corner of the screen um, what looks to be like a light brown that looks to be like a root and when you see in roots that are you know the, about the size of a quarter in diameter um, that's very much cause for concern the bottom of the pipe will you'll always be able to tear, tell where that is by where the light of my camera is and also where the water is flowing so the bottom of the pipe is on the right hand side of the screen um, we're going to continue to pull back See, there's not sure what that red red chunk is there to top of your screen. Um, that's a root intrusion. These guys are just barely hanging on um, after the jet, but still, you can see just how massive the intrusion is at the top of the pipe there. Um, as I continue to pull back, you're going to 
um, see a lot of a lot of roots there. That looks like the pipe there has offset some. That's a joint right there. You can see where the light orange stops abruptly. Um, that's a joint. The new pipe starts up. And behind these roots, there's no telling what. There could be a big crack and a break. Continue to pull back here. You can see the root just kind of closing up around us. You see the size of the roots. They, they're they not just mere little. And you can see kind of where the jetter just mashed through them. But this, is, this line is fully overgrown with roots. Um, very substantial intrusions. So we're at um, 139 feet from the clean out. And this is where we started getting cause for concern. You can see the gravel in the um, there at the bottom of the pipe. Um, that's never a good sign to see rocks in your in your main line. Um, there's chunks uh, of rock and pipe, and that's you know when we started seeing that. That's when we kind of had to make an executive decision. This. You can see the roots literally just closing around my camera as I come back. Again, there's another joint where the um, the the clay towel pipe's orange, where that stops abruptly, is the joint. And you can see where the roots are just going in there, pulling back now. And here's some more gravel. What looks like rocks in the pipe chunk of pipe there, some more gravel and debris, continue to pull back here, there's some roots growing down the sides of the pipe, continue to pull back here, bottom of the pipe is Again, in the upper right hand corner, that looks like a looks like it's separated a bit. Either the pipe pulls the, at the joint pulls away from each other or it offsets. Um, that's where the roots find their find their way in and just seek out water. Very resilient in finding water. I don't believe there's been much maintenance on this line um, over its lifespan to have root growth like this. Um, these are very substantial. And it, and it seems to be that this is an ongoing problem. The There's one house that ties into this private sewer downstream um, and the water is coming up in 1414. So what that tells us is that house that was tied into it um, pretty much capped off all sources of entry and um, you know no one lives there right now you know so I guess the word abandoned could be used continue to pull back as you can see the roots growing in at each joint again this is a six inch tile pipe there's chunks of roots back here at uh, just past 113 feet right now pretty large root intrusion here it looks like a baby one compared to the ones we've seen earlier on in the inspection and there's what looks like to be just a piece of pipe missing right there at the, the top of your screen. Um, it looks just to be broken. Broken out. The roots seem to be growing in there as well. Growing down that. Okay, there's a pretty large rock there. My camera lens is an inch and a half thick. 
Um, we kind of used that as a measuring tape. Oh, and here's here's the chunk of pipe that we were just, I guess the word flabbergasted would be. I mean, this, this is a big piece of pipe. And that's probably the hole right here on our right hand side where it came from. I'm going to try to jam it. Just, but I mean, you can see it moving. That absolutely is a chunk of clay cow pipe. You can tell by its straight edge. Continue to pull back. You can see how the pipe is just missing there, and especially the uh, top of your screen. The camera lens is fogging up a bit. Someone's running some hot water, I imagine. The wis the wisps of uh, it looks like smoke. That's actually methane gas. Um, continue to pull back here. We're about a hundred and five feet from the clean out downstairs. This is a pretty large root intrusion. Pretty substantial. Continue to pull back here. You can see the earth in between the, the joint there. That's actually dirt and earth. See the separation. You can see the roots growing in. The bottom of the pipe is now at the top of your screen where the light's at and the water's flowing. Continuing to pull back here. Pretty much every joint has roots in it, it seems. Continuing to pull back. The aspect change is now uh, the bottom of the pipe now is in the top left hand side of the screen. Again, you can tell by the light. Sorry about the fog. It's the condensation on the lens of the camera due to someone probably running some hot water somewhere up the line. Continue to pull back. Mine doesn't look too bad here. Looks that, well, you can see where the, some roots were. We knock those out. At each joint, there's just little hangers on. We're about 75 feet from the clean out. We should be coming into the 1414's main line as it taps into the city sewer. We should be coming in here shortly. I think this is it actually right here. And this is 68 feet, 10, well we'll just call it 69 feet from the clean out in 1414 uh, South Southeast Boulevard to the private sewer where where it taps in. Gonna continue to pull back here. Oops, excuse me, got caught on something. So that's a bit of an offset there. I was talking about over time the ground settles. 
Oh, yep. Past that. Bit of, bit of roots growing in there. Hanging down. Nothing too substantial. And we continue to pull back here. You can see where the roots were. We um, cabled this line earlier this week. I did myself and really worked the cable back and forth. You can actually see where they kept my cable marks on the sides of the pipe. Continue to pull back here. There's a little hanger on. This line is substantially better than the other, than the private sewer. And this is a four inch tile pipe. We reduced from six to four, coming in, coming into the main line for fourteen fourteen. When this was all, this was all underwater and backed up, and water's trying to find the low spot, which is the basement of fourteen fourteen, the floor drain. Um, um, the lady there has been experiencing this for quite a while now, just you know, sewage and water being. Um, arriving in her basement and she didn't know why she's you know so water just trying to find its lowest point all these pipes fill up there's what it looks like to be a quarter or maybe a gold doubloon <laughs> just kidding Continue to pull back, going through a little bit of a bend here. Okay, yeah, and this is yeah, this is a bit of a aspect or a bit of a offset. It looks like the pipe is literally just flattened out. Maybe a, and I see I'm caught on it, and then I push past it. My camera it literally gets caught on it. Push, 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 and then it pops past it. So that's uh, a little bit of cause for concern because solids, you know, toilet paper and other solids will not be able to flow past that. And here's another one that I saw when I was coming out. You can see when the when the when the joint stair steps up as it is right now. My camera lens being an inch and a half thick, this being about, you know, three quarters of an inch thick, the water pulls up at that point and then has to get high enough to go over. It's like a dam. And you can see just a little bit of water there pooling up and that uh that offset. Continue to pull back. Oh. Yes, and this is the one that this is the most significant one. This one's over an inch and a half thick. Um, and you can see what I was just talking about. It's dammed up the water to the point that I'm pulling back. This is a... We'll be able to see when we come up out of the water. As we come up out of the water, there off into the, off into the little bit of a distance, you see the, the um, water stop and that offset occur. Try to get a clear the camera keeps fogging up but um, you can see the joint there and how it just flattens out um, that's problematic this seeing the standing water there this prevents the like I said the flow of solids and and over time can accumulate and cause a sludge back up um, definitely cause for concern here's another one seems to be most couple joints here in this in this line we do not have any roots with roots which is, which is a good thing but it does seem to be that the line over time has settled and offset a bit here's a another one as well I was seeing if it was broke it doesn't look to be broke continue to pull backward about 36 feet from the clean out. 
in the downstairs basement of 1414 Southeast Boulevard. You can see how the line just kind of flattens out there. That's what it seemed to be doing at the other joints as well. Continue to pull back here. I think we transition from. Where's all that water coming from? That water is pooling up there because it's it needs to have enough water. It's like a dam. It needs to fill up high enough before it'll start flowing out. Because the bottom of the pipe is so it should be a a smooth surface with a quarter inch drop per linear foot. When the smooth surface is lost and it stair steps up, water pools and has to rise to the top of the stair before it will flow out. And that's what that's what you see happening here. We see pooling water, and that's what I was talking about earlier. See, this water gets pretty deep, and it's kind of a long run. That's a pretty pretty big stair step. It looks like. Continuing to pull back here. Still underwater. This is quite the uh, pool of water here. This, I think, this is where the tile um, transition, trans, excuse me, transitions into cast iron. I'm almost positive of it. That we're in cast iron now. Let me push forward. Excuse me. Let me push forward to that. Offset. Yeah, we're in cast iron here, and it, and now we're in tile. So, right where the, excuse me, the camera is, condensation. There we go. Yeah, that condensation is really hampering our view. But as we pull from the tile, boom, we drop into cast iron, and it's just over time. You know that tile has offset from the cast iron, and cast iron usually stubs out from the house. Um, three to five feet. Um, we are absolutely uh, right outside the foundation and as we pull back um, we go inside the foundation. Um, let me get a footage on this. So we start here at the transition about 30 feet. Going to continue to pull back. Get a size of this um, pool of water. Started at 30, just passing 26. Passing 25. Should be coming out of it here shortly. 24. So that's about a... We're still in water, so... You know... We'll call it seven a seven foot section of cast iron that's uh, holding water due to that offset, that transition there. Um, continue to pull back here. We're at uh, 20 feet from the clean out downstairs right now. The rest of the cast looks really great. Uh, not too much pitting or rusting. Sometimes we see with cast iron a, like a valley that forms down the bottom of the pipe and that is nowhere to be seen. Continuing to pull back here. A little bit of a standing water due to an offset. Again, when they stair step up, they're real problematic. The flow of water is prohibited. That's why there's standing water in the pipe. Whenever you see standing water in a drain pipe, that is cause for concern because something is prohibiting the water from traveling to the uh, sewer, whether that be the city sewer or a private sewer in this case. Continue to pull back here. We're in the cast iron. All right, we're going through a transition. We should be coming up to clean out right here. 
Alrighty. Again, my name is David Lane. I'm uh, with Bulldog Rooter. I'm out here with Johnny Weishaupt. Today's date is February 10, 2017. And this has been a video inspection for this private sewer of 1414 South Southeast Boulevard that ties in, that three other houses tie into. Again, thank you for choosing Bulldog Rooter.